all doing? I'm so sorry this video is coming later than planned. You're welcome to the review of why, an adaptation of the biblical account of how God chose David over his brothers as the next king of Israel. If you're familiar with the story, why would you draw a smile from you each time you decoded modifications to the names of the real life characters as well as new word coinages which of course made the movie easier to follow. The sound design in Evan movies in recent times has constituted a quest for originality and propriety. I'm keenly interested in that area and I'm an admirer of those who attempt making their own instrumentals. At this rate, the musical department of Evan will in time become consultants in this field that many haven't really been exploring just yet. Similarly, the opening credits embraced a bit of innovation by being spread across the first couple of scenes. The camera pans in some exchange of dialogue were quite impressive as well. The title of question points us to the reasons God chooses or doesn't choose certain people for his assignments. Many people want to be used by God, but the fact is that they are not usable. So rather than only asking God to use us, we also need him to make us usable. As Andrew Womack put it, God wants to use you more than you want him to use you. Therefore, it's about us being in the right state to be used. The parable of the great feast in Matthew 22 is one that amazes me. After the previously invited guests had refused to show up for the feast, the king brought in everyone on the streets. Yet, when he saw a man that wasn't dressed in wedding clothes, he commanded his servants to bundle him and throw him into outer darkness. I'd always thought that was unfair. After all, he was the one that told them to bring everyone they saw. I later discovered, though, that Jesus used that parable to show us that many are called, but few are chosen. This means that while Jesus has made salvation available for everyone and many have heeded to the call, it's up to each individual to determine whether he would be chosen for use. Also, God's choice of us is not about what we've accomplished in the flesh. It's about his call, it's about his purpose, it's about whether we have become people after his heart. Elba, Abana and Shaomin Jess had hearts corrupted by envy, anger and unforgiveness while Dave's was all about humility. A man after God's heart is that person who is like a child, whom God can work on, whom God can take through different stages of growth, each level making that person more responsible, which evokes promotion. This is contrary to the case of Salu, played intelligently by Fisayo Olon Shola, who represented the biblical first king of Israel, a man who kind of rose to prominence overnight. Thus, he was unable to obey any of the two main instructions God had given him. Eventually, he lost the kingdom and God instead chose David, who very likely wasn't even born at that time of Saul's rejection. This is why it is important for us as children of God to be patient with him as he works in our lives because he is the one that knows what he's preparing us for. The heart was the determinant because God wanted someone with his kind of heart. In terms of characterization, I learned so much from Professor Smart Elkan, whose humility before God reflects vividly in his obedience to the Chairman, Chief Executive Officer. Obedience is key if we are to enjoy the peace that Jesus gives in this world in these last days. Dave's decision to remain at his duty post until the appointed time came also showed me that it is important for us to follow God and not go ahead of him. I only wish that Y had developed the character of Dave better, who, though understandably didn't have much dialogue at that time in the real life story, should have been given more to do in the film. On a final note, Y alludes to its biblical story brilliantly and empowers us with the knowledge and wisdom we need to truly be co-laborers together with God so that we can bring in the plentiful harvest. Alright, we've come to the end of this review. If you've seen why, please share your thoughts with me about it in the comment section below. The link to the movie is in the description. See the next video. Stay blessed.